Hello here, Kevin Stevenson with GetMeToGeek.com and today we're going to talk about Bitwarden and they have a new feature called Send. And this is pretty exciting for me. Uh, if you remember, I did some videos a little while back about Firefox Send. But they ended up shutting that project down and this is the answer to it. So if you're a Bitwarden user or if you're not a Bitwarden user, this is a product for you. Let's check it out. All right. Here we go. All right. First of all, Bitwarden Send. Here is the about and basically what you, the operation that this is, is it allows you to send secure text or files. Um, so if you look at this here, your attachments can be up to 100 megabytes. So you're not going to be sending a DVD <laughs> or anything super, super huge. So 100 megabytes, but that's okay because for most things, and most scenarios where you would want to use this, you're going to be wanting to use it as uh, sending secure data. So here's an example of what I, how I would like to use this or how I might use this. So imagine that you need to send uh, PDFs to your accountant uh, that has, you know, your W-2s under or something like that. <laughs> so what you could do is send this to attach your W-2 throw a password on there, send it over, your accountant will get that email. And then with you having told them in another channel, like over the phone or text or something to that effect, the password to get that in, and then you've securely encrypted, sent that attachment. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there, are, there are other services out there to uh, send encrypted files and things like that. Uh, but this is this is a good option. So or here it is. So maybe you need to send uh, I don't know credit card information or something or maybe you need to send you also would need to send like I don't know your social security number or your some other personally identifiable information that you don't want to just send it unencrypted through an email for free. Um, maybe you have a document that you you sign it with a signature that has uh, your social security number on it or something like that, uh, or something, anything that you just don't want to be sent out there in plain text. This is a great option for you. So let's take a look at the service. Let's make this a little bigger for you guys, for everyone. All right, here we go. Oh, yep. I think we can see that now. Um, so 100 megabytes for your, for your attachments. However, you can send text files or whatever, or, you know, text by just filling out, um, pretty easy to. So, and you do not have to have a Bitwarden account to receive these files or these communications. So that's a big plus. Um, it is end to end encrypted, encrypted. So your data is encrypted the whole way through so when you send it it's encrypted and they get a link that's encrypted and so everything is encrypted in between so that is an awesome stuff ephemeral now, this is super important too because many times we'll send attachments in an email that really you kind of wish that you could just expire there. like here it is for now but ultimately like 10 years down the road when someone gets into your email and acts and they got this uh, access to this attachment and then all of a sudden you know your something important is leaked so ephemeral means that this will expire so their maximum lifespan on these sins is 31 days you can make it less uh, I'm gonna walk you through and show you exactly how we do this stuff so the expiration on it is a super awesome thing so if you're looking for that that is good and customizable privacy. Um, this is where you send a password on this. And honestly, anytime you use this, you should probably be putting a password on it um, because you're not being that much more, you're not being that much more secure if you don't. Uh, because when you put the password on it, that person that gets that link still needs to know that password. So um, believe it or not, 
Um, many people don't realize this, but when you're sending email out, that is plain text. It, it is unencrypted going across the internet. When you go from send an email from Gmail to Office 365, it bounces off a bunch of servers in between, and or and is very um, suspect, very easily um, can be intercepted along that track. And then, so if you send this with just a link to this, then they anyone that intercepts that email can get that text, even though it is encrypted on the other side. Um, so yeah, they have to go that extra step, follow that link and then get to it. But if you put a password, they go that extra step, they follow the link and they don't have the passwords, boom, you're safe. Which is why you don't send the password along with your email or anything like that. Um, so now, what does it look like? So if you're familiar with using Bitwarden, you're going to have a new button that has send. And here's an image of what it looks like. Um, so you can see right here, there's file, text, and files. So the text, basically, you get a little dialog box. You type in whatever you want. You hit boom, 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 set up the, the features, and then you send that out. You get a link, send an email. You can send it a text message, however you want to send it. And then boom. Now the file is is basically the same thing, but instead of you typing in your message, you're going to attach a file. All right. So this is going to kind of go through this. And Bill Warden has really, really excellent documentation. So if you go to their help page and you write Bitwarden Sin about creating a sin, receiving a sin, live spot, live spam, privacy, uh, sending using CLI. We're not going to talk about that, but basically you can use the command line. Uh, Self-hosted sin. Uh, so Bitwarden has a self-hosted option. So it's available for those people too. And then there's an FAQ. So let me just pop over to the FAQ real quick. And it's like, why can't I send a file? So here's the pickle. Um, anyone with any Bitwarden account can send using the the text. Uh, however, if you want to send a file, you must be a premium user. So now I've looked at this and I've actually sent them a message for clarification. Um, so it says that creating a file and sending is only available for premium users, comma, including members of paid organizations, family teams, enterprise. So um, I think this reads that any anyone that is a premium user and or a family team or enterprise user should have it available. So I'll check to see what that's available. I, I put in a message. I'll get I'll get a response back. I'm sure. And then, you know, there's other things like I have trouble sending with my Firefox. Um, it basically what happens here is that when you have the plugin in your your browser there it has to be popped out and so i can show you right here and see there's this little pop out message boom and it pops it out here and that gives you that extra ability so by the way since we're right here here is the plugin and here's the button to send okay and so there's a couple other faq things uh these little icons that can be attached to your send vault, uh, disabled organization, blah, blah, blah. So there's several things that they ask for you here. So creating a send. And like I said, I'm going through the documentation. I'll show you uh, with my Bitwarden account a couple of these, but, but basically this is spot on. So through the web vault, you can go in there and open up the web vault and you're gonna have a send button, create send. So I'm gonna flip back over here um, to my web vault. So here is my web vault. Now let me just uh, make this bigger, 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 bigger. Yay. <laughs> so let me just unpick that a little bit. All right. So looking at my web vault, you're going to see that I have sends. I already have a test one up here. And if you remember just a second ago, I was talking about that iconography. There is the little key that says that I put this encrypted. So let's just take a look at this guy. 
So basically all this is, is I gave it a name and text. And here's the link. So if you wanna get that, go for it. You'll get <laughs> this information. Uh, so on the options, you can go and you set this as an expiration. It deletes it, maximum access counts. So, I mean, I haven't looked under the hood yet, but this sounds very, very much like what Mozilla's uh, Firefox Send was. And for all I know, they've actually just taken that that open source project and integrated it in here. Because um, it looks like it has basically the same features. And if they did that, fantabulous, because it was a great service that uh, got abused and kind of died because of it. And the way the Bitwarden is doing this, uh, I think you're you're not going to have the the abuse that we had with Firefox Sin because number one the the file size limit's different, and number two you have to have a Bitwarden account in order to do this. Firefox was a little bit more just anonymous. Um, so here you have uh, you can set the maximum number of users that access it, maximum counts. So uh, if this link is sent out and you put a maximum count of one on it and then you send it out to billy bob billy bob gets that file he open uh, gets that message he opens it up and boom bing boom that's one access so in theory if someone else goes and uses that same link again it's going to block their access so this is a great expiration feature it says it's not expiration but it's just a limitation so if you're sending something out and somehow it gets out on the loose and and you know five thousand people have it you could uh, protect yourself because only one person is going to be able to access it and if you're lucky the right person access it first and everyone else try to access it later and they're blocked um but but you want to put a password so you put whatever password you like and then transfer that password to the end you the, the, the recipient a different way than you transferred the original link so if you sent the link in a text message or you sent the link in, a, in an email you know don't use don't use text message to send them also the password or don't use um your email to send them the password also you know give them a call or maybe you you send it an email and you text them the password that way they're two different uh, mediums. So they'd have to compromise both systems in order for you to um, become lost. So here it is. So that's how you, that's how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and close that down. So back in the documentation, you'll see that it looks pretty much exactly that same way. And it gives you all the information about how these things work. Um, and so, like I said, maximum access count, the sin will be disabled after specific access count is reached by default, unspecified. Um, so there you go. Now, receiving a send, easy peasy. So you end up getting a link that looks something like this. And for the self-hosted one, it's going to be slightly different. Okay. So what happens is when that opens up, it's going to look like this. Um, and so you will have your, be able to download your file. Now, I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to copy the link and I'll pop it over here and see how it says password. I had to put my password in, click continue, and boom, there it is. That is the, this is test message that I put in. And I can copy this value nice and easy. Um, so there you have it. And when it's a file, it's going to look like this. Okay. All right. So in Firefox, or in, in Bitwarden, my bad, you're going to see at the bottom of your Bitwarden, the, the desktop app, you're going to see this send button. And that'll get you to be able to send new sends. Uh, here is that test message again. Here is that link. Here is the message. And you can go in and edit all the options. Okay. So 
So that's what it looks like in the desktop app. And of course, when you pop this out and you go over to your sends, here's what it looks like in the browser extension. Okay. So there you have it. Uh, I'm Kevin Stevenson with GetMeTheGeek.com, and this has been a feature of Firefox, or boy, oh boy, oh boy, I want to call it Firefox Send. Bitwarden Send. Uh, so if you got something out of this video, you, if you, you found some value, please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. And if you're really feeling like you, you want to support me, I highly appreciate it. Go ahead and try my Buy Me The Coffee link where you can uh, send me a few dollars on your own. I appreciate everything you do. Uh, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.